A beautiful day for a barbecue and an even better one for college football. The UNI Pam Jr. is back deep. Matthew Cook boots it away and tries to keep it away from the preseason All-American return specialist. And Javon Williams Jr. Line. As the Salukis in their blackout cancer game uniforms. And Baker going to tuck it and run. He is slippery when he tries to get going downfield. And to about five yards, and that's never a, a win for the defense on first down. It's the play action pass and the dump off to Garrett out in space and a first down for SIU, a little that, that he is to this offense. And what they did was take advantage of you and I being so aggressive defensively and just running that screen. This is Deontay Cox on the reception. There's two Cox brothers. The Saluki offense. Rolling here on the opening possession. Here's a second and short throw over the middle. That is complete, and that's another Saluki first down. Once again, it's Garrett. With a strong left side, and another pass play here for Baker out to the left side, and that's going to be a first down reception. Remington Lutz head-to-head -head in a big battle here today. Missouri Valley Football Conference action, and... Here's another dump off for Baker, and once again, here's the third and goal. We've talked a lot about the offenses. Which defenses come up with a stop when they need one, and looks like you and I will stop the solution. SIU was just going right down the field with ease. The try is good for Jake Baumgart. So it's up second down and four, and they looking to throw. On second down, connects with Dion McShane. And McShane out to the 47 40 on the tackle for SIU. And Day on play action pass, throws it into the flats. This is Lane Pryor, the tight end slash fullback, trying to stay on his feet. Gets the Panthers inside the 25. But that's what they've got to do to try to get this offense behind the numbers. As a pass left side, Deion McShane once again, the intended target once again comes up. Him couldn't make a play on that ball. That's why wide receivers are smarter than and most in, Instead of trying to go get the ball himself? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Morrency makes the catch now and takes a... Each team making it tough to punch in. Theo Day steps up in the pocket and throws it up for grabs and it's caught in the end zone that is certainly another touchdown reception and the uni panthers take the lead and it's a touchdown when you're in man coverage you've got to watch your man and cover your guy that's the point is up to a field goal northern iowa puts it in the end zone for a full seven and SIU bringing it out of the end zone and a nice return for Southern Illinois. Offense really starting to click on all cylinders. It was balanced offense and defense. Southern Illinois' first possession was pass heavy but quite effective. Uh, or a family member, a cancer survivor, uh, someone that battled cancer on the back of these jerseys. So you do see something different on that nameplate on that back side. And to Southern Illinois. It only could be man-to-man -man coverage. Baker throws that way and completes it to Cox. Cox cuts back, Ooh. finds a seam, and Cox Ooh. off and running into the end zone of Vontae Cox. <laughs> like Daniel was saying, the Panthers got caught, ran right by the pursuit. They're going to see the ball get thrown. Again, they tried to get pressure. To start. Great execution. And the speed right there, that speed kills. Killed the UNI defense. But on third and 10, no here we, they forced the Salukis to kick a field goal. And they're going to put a home run here. This is Morrency behind the defense and right through his hands, he drops it. Getting the job done so he can get into a third down and manageable situation. The O'Day throws, that is caught by Sam Schnee and sandwiched at the 39. Sure. The zone coverage that you have between the 40s, and there you have soft coverage again, an easy throw and catch to McShane on the sideline. That's his third one on the sideline. Long <laughs> touchdown. Now he's over there. He's frustrated. Don't don't try to fight now. Just catch the ball. <laughs> Day throws right to the sticks and comes up with the catch and to be made by each defense. Theo Day to throw. Pumps left. Now throws. 
deeper downfield and finds Sam Schnee, who takes it inside the more aggressive against the run. Mm -hmm. So here's a third and goal. Day throws over the middle, and this has caught Desmond Hudson with a touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown pass from Theo Day to Desmond Hudson. Really don't want to give up any first downs in long yarder situations on third down. Baker looking for somewhere to throw, looking for Avante Cox takes a shot. Looking for another one. Facing the 20th ranked. This side you Saluki's a third down conversion would help. Sergio Morency the catch stays in bounds. Streaks down the sideline. He's inside the 25 yard line. Outside that, you know, you got to give those guys time to get to the quarterback as well. Theoday throwing for the end zone has Dion McShane. He goes up and brings it in. I mean, they're just playing seven on seven out there right yeah. now, right? I mean, the corners haven't so made a point. Play. You're going to just have to play deep to short, but here they get beat playing cover. I'll stop. I'll stop there. <laughs> You're almost stretching yeah. it too much. Yeah, there, yeah, Jason. yeah. It's not that easy. <laughs> the extra yeah. point is the uh, last week. Coach Mark Farley, a defensive-minded guy. Here's a completion out to Jacob Garrett. That football gets jarred loose and recovered. Blue-collar, hard-nosed players, all 11 guys on the field. He's a former UNI linebacker and Missouri Valley Football Conference defensive player of the year. Where your feet are, and those are things that, unless you've played, you don't know. Baker under pressure completes this one to Miller and Miller off to the races inside the 25. It's tackled by Deerman at that next level. He's just a junior. In Central, yeah, Illinois. Here's Baker avoiding the pressure. Throws to the corner of the end zone. Incomplete and no penalty. Just a bit because you got 60 yards, but he's in the back of the end zone. Really no excuse there. Williams goes in motion. The shovel pass to Garrett. In for the score. Jacob Garrett, third down and five days, going to try and throw for it. He's looking deep. He has Sam Schnee, and he's got Sam Schnee into SIU territory. Right now, and if that's the case, maybe you have to play a little more zone. Theo Day throws over the middle. Sam Schnee once again. A catch gets tripped up, but the Panthers go inside. You can just come up and make the tackle. You're giving up too many big plays. Vance McShane on the ground, open space, and inside the 20, inside the 10, reaching for the pylon, knocked out of bounds at the one-yard line. Instead of, you know, giving it to him, it's too easy right now. He's been all plays, and here's Theo Day, another passing touchdown, Sam Schnee on the receiver. Yeah, again, you, it's too easy. You're not challenging, you're not contesting. Oh, these guys moving the ball down the field. Watch right there, you see that hesitation? On the back, just because of the see is that P.J. Jules was a blitz. He's a blitzer, so he could get to the quarterback, but he actually got fooled by the run fake in the back. A third down stop here. See if they use a timeout to try and force a punt. Well, here's Southern trying to convert it. Gets the first down. The move. Right. You don't get it. It seemed like the Panthers could get in field goal range pretty quick. Baker falls incomplete. We'll see what Coach Hill decides as tackle and wrap up 50 yards just 14 attempts and Theo Day going right to you knocks it loose and it's a turn on the first play so Southern football and Baker looking to throw flings it out to the right side as Remington Lux takes it inside the five talented rugged runner and Williams He's going to go right side behind his blockers, cut back to the left side, and get into the end zone. We talk about Cass with the touchdown. Watch the improv by Javon Williams. Stopped at the point of it. If you make him have to do that, you've got a chance to stop him. There's Theo Day back to pass pressure. He completes it to Logan Wolf. And that is Wolf's first catch. It's easy to find holes in the zone when guys just stand there. First down carry, Vance McShane straight ahead, spinning out into Saluki territory across the field. He has a rifle of an arm. That's what I've noticed in this game so far as and well. Vance McShane bounces it out to the outside. Fights for the 25. Getting to the second level 
Nick Ellison at that right tackle position. Here's McShane once again. Going deep into that secondary. P.J. Jules comes up. Line is really taking care of business at the line of scrimmage. Second and short. Day throws. Pressure came, but he completes it out to Dion McShane. And that's enough for it. Here's a second down and 10. And Theo Day keeps it looking to throw. And now he's going to get what he can with his legs. He's going to go. Been lights out throughout his entire career. You're Chance. only down by eight. Chance to go into a tie here for number one all time, Missouri Valley. A few runs in there, too, Brett. Yeah, mixing it up nicely here. Swing pass out to the left side for Bryce Miller. Get 10. There's Baker. Back to throw. Oh, and throws wow. back to the left. Row Elliott out in space. Down the sideline. Gets pushed out right before midfield. Off, off of there just a bit. He was injured in the fall, played just four games. That was after a preseason all-conference day in the spring season. Here is Elliott down the sideline. It's going to be SI yard line to try to punch it in. Lester gets the pitch left side, cuts it up inside, and he takes it in for Southern Illinois. That was an outstanding job. Left side. He is that trivia question answer to who started in front of Kurt Warner. <laughs> Warner's... Freshman, sophomore, junior seasons, and Jay Johnson was that guy. I could think that, hey, that could be me too, right? Yeah. And that, you know, that's what you want. I'll come through that same tunnel. And there's a completion from Theo Day to Alex Allen. You got to take it serious. All the young listeners out there. Words of advice. Theo Day throws to Dion McShane. Did he hold on? They say a catch at the. They're trying to get him off schedule and behind the chains. The O'Day to throw. Here's a screen pass for Williams. Able to spin away from a defender and now dance out to the 41 yard line. It's a yardage here. They won't get any more yards. 56, 57 yards. That's a tough one there. Theo Day, he's going to lose a few yards. May knock him out of there. Out of field goal range. It's, it's going to be fourth and long now. Again, good job of, of substituting those front four guys and bringing in four fresh guys mm -hmm. who can get up the field quickly, fast, especially on third and long. Day has to hold the ball a little bit longer, allow them to get to him. That's an excellent point, Jay, to have fresh bodies on the field. People paying too much attention to the depth chart. They feel like the, the first string guy is so much better than the second string guy, and sometimes just about being fresh. Hey, thanks, man. You don't, uh, you we don't, have you don't finished. compliment me very often. Thanks, man. We have finished the third quarter. It is a two point lead for you and I over SIU. We'll pick up that conversation. <laughs> we got the fourth quarter. Darius Bailey there, the defense, part of that front four. Take it back to throw and completes it over the middle. And then running out towards the sideline there. To more success when he's had to throw the ball outside and away from those big guys. So here's the third and long and another conversion for Southern Illinois. As this hands up, especially against a shorter quarterback. Couple third down conversions now for SIU on this drive. And there's a big gain. Now it's because that time again, Corby Sanders should have been out there. There's no one else out there for him to cover. Pass right side, Miller. Good game, picks up. Dialing up some good ones. Blake Rowan, the offensive coordinator, but Hill calls the plays during the game, and he's calling for an end zone. Did he hold on to it? Yes, he did. Touchdown. Up with the catch. He hurt his hand when he landed. So Baumgart is good. And it's a five-point Southern lead. Avante Cox, the senior on the Walter Payton Award watch list, showing you why. Second touchdown reception of the game. Got him up 36-31. And then with the football, goes to Dom Williams on the ground. And look at this, just <laughs> moving the pile all the way out to the third. Not trying to shoulder tackle. Theode back to throw, hits Dion McShane in stride, stays on his feet, goes inside the 30 yard line. A few score too quickly. And they'll stay patient, stay with the running game. Dom Williams stays on his feet, 
fights for a first down and now into the red zone season. And now you and I working well. And they'll stay with that running game. Down Williams gets more. Another double digit run. <laughs> Brad, that's the way to look at it. <laughs> Here's Theo Day looking for the end zone. It's touchdown number five for in front. How about this catch? Again, this is the side to had him. How'd he get away from me? Second down for SIU. Swings it out to Williams. Williams with the stiff arm. And then a host of white jerseys trying to bring him down. There he's to the edge to him as well. And that shows blitz comes out of it. Baker avoiding the sack once again. And comes up with a plus seven yards on that play the playing run but uh, you got to tighten up outside there's only two two guys out there and it's too easy this is Avante Cox Cox comes up coming back and got carved up on the pass clock now at two minutes and ticking Baker steps up throws towards the sideline and he completes it that's Millwell within field goal range and SIU is going to go to the ground and Tom Williams gets stood up, maybe loses a yard and eight. Vance McShane straight ahead for the third straight time out to the 26 yard line. So that you don't panic in this situation. Baker back to throw. He's throwing deep and nearly intercepted. And was it caught? They're going to oh. say caught, but. So Baker goes back to work here. Second down. Pressure comes. He rolls out. Throws downfield. The catch is made. Just shy up past the first down. Nine seconds on the clock. This is third down. Baker steps up. Throws over the middle. That's incomplete. Batted away by Benny Sapp. Freshman. Part of that trips on the right side. Baker rolls to his right. He throws it up for grabs to the end zone. And it's caught. Oh! And he's down. Upset. That's yeah. how close it is. A completed catch with the runner short of the goal line has been confirmed. Game over. But I improves to five and four on the season. SIU falls to five and four on the year. Back-to-back -back conference loss.